Dam building is an ancient and intricate concept that has often led to agricultural and industrial revolution. However, sometimes displacement of the inhabitants, disruption of transport, and access to water affect people negatively. When this happens, it brings catastrophic to lives and property. Here are the top 20 most dangerous dam failures in the world. Cauca, Colombia. The dam is situated on the Cauca River and is in the final stages of construction. On the 12th of May 2018, a sudden release of water from the dam flooded municipalities of Puerto Valdivia and Tarzana downstream. Around 600 people were forced to leave their homes. The situation was caused by diversion tunnels of the dam becoming blocked. The reason for the blockage is unclear, although some local media report that landslides in the area were to blame. Water is now building up in the dam, and there is fear that the situation could worsen, threatening more than 130,000 people along the Cauca River. Michigan Dam The urgent evacuation of 10,000 people from the communities below two failing dams in central Michigan prevented the loss of life. However, in May of 2020, the collapsed dams expelled billions of gallons of water from two large lakes, causing destruction to property. The state of Michigan put blame for the dam failure squarely on its owners, Boyce Hydro. Banqiao In the world's biggest dam disaster, a typhoon tipped China's Banqiao Dam, which killed an estimated 171,000 people in 1975. In more than 100 cases, scientists have blamed construction of dams on earthquakes. For instance, strong evidence suggests that China's Sichuan earthquake, which killed 80,000 people in 2008, was triggered by the Xingipu Dam. The 1985 Banqiao Dam failure was a chain of collapses which destroyed 62 dams, including the Banqiao Dam, in Henna, China, in August of 1975, under the influence of the typhoon Nina. Share your feelings on this in our comments section. Lake Dunlap. The dam that created the lake was built in 1931 to provide hydroelectric power. Management of the dam and lake was assumed by the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority on May 1, 1963. On the morning of May 14, 2019, at 8.05 a.m. local time, the dam's 90-year-old middle spillway unexpectedly collapsed, nearly draining the lake by day's end. Damage to marine life, property, and sources of tourism income was devastating. Fortunately, no human lives were lost. The Sardobo Reservoir It was built on the canal of an old transboundary irrigation system that straddles Uzbekistan, Chazakhstan, and Kazakhstan. The structure was planned back in 2008 and built between 2010 and 2017. The Sardoba disaster was the result of lack of consideration of climate change, a hundred years of basin-scale environmental mismanagement, and 30 years of water feuds. In short, demanding for quick political results instead of scientifically based and publicly discussed decision-making burst the seams. This flooded more than 35,000 hectares of land in Uzbekistan and neighboring Kazakhstan. At least 70,000 people were forced out of their homes. Malpasset Dam The failure of the Malpasset Dam in France represented the first failure of an arched dam. It collapsed on 2 December 1959 killing 423 people in the resulting flood. The suddenness of the failure, given that nothing abnormal had been detected at the dam within the hours preceding the event, added to the horror. Damage to property amounted to an equivalent of 68 million US dollars. The event also ushered in the practice of posthumous marriage in France for civilians, as many women who lost their fiancés in the flood were granted the right to marry them after death. Teton Dam Teton Dam was an earth dam constructed between 1972 and 1975 on the Teton River in Idaho, United States. The biggest dam failure occurred in June 1976, when the water was being filled in for the first time. Flooding on the downstream regions after the failure of the dam resulted in the loss of 14 lives and $400 million in property. The dam had cost $100 million to build, and the federal government paid for $300 million in claims related to its failure. Total damage estimates to have ranged up to $2 billion. St. Francis Dam Tragedy 
St. Francis Dam was built in 1926. It was located in the San Francisco Canyon. Due to the geological instability of the canyon walls, cracks started appearing. They were surely taken care of, but not completely, as most of the damage was considered normal by the engineers. On March 12, 1928, the walls of the dam could not hold the water any longer, and they gave. Over 47 billion liters of water burst down the canyon. More than 450 people were killed and property destroyed. Three Gorges Dam China's Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest hydropower project that was completed in 2008. It generates as much power as eight large nuclear power plants. However, it displaced more than 1.2 million people and ravaged the ecosystem of the Yangtze River. The Chinese government has acknowledged the problems of the project but continues to export its technology overseas. South Fork Dam Disaster it is situated near South Fork, Pennsylvania, United States. The dam's water was often reported to be leaking at certain portions. To solve this issue, all the engineers did was to fill up the cracked patches with mud and straw. This served the purpose for that time, but was definitely not a permanent solution. On May 21, 1889, after immense rainfall, the dam collapsed, releasing over 20 million tons of water. It caused 2,209 fatalities and became known as the Johnstown Flood. The Buffalo Creek Flood In 1972, Pittston Coal Company built a small dam for the storage of the coal slurry impoundment. It was located on a hillside in Logan County, West Virginia. The constructors declared the state of the dam as satisfactory, and it was believed to be completely fit for the storing large amounts of coal waste. However, on February 26, 1972, the dam broke unexpectedly, and a total of 500,000 cubic meters of coal slurry completely destroyed the surroundings. All of the 16 coal mining hamlets in Buffalo Creek Hollow were affected by the 30-foot-high waves of black wastewater. The Wall of Water, as some called it, killed 126 people and left 4,000 homeless. It also caused the collapse of two other dams. Mariana Dam Disaster it is known as the Bento Rodriguez or Samarco Dam Disaster. The tragedy occurred on the 5th of November 2015 when the Fundao Tailings Dam suffered a catastrophic failure. This resulted in flooding that devastated the downstream villages of Bento Rodriguez, killing 19 people. The extent of the damage caused by the Tailings Dam collapse is the largest ever recorded with pollutants spreading along 668 kilometers of water courses. Ituongo Dam this is a disaster in waiting. The 225-meter-high Hydro Ituango Dam on Cacao River in Colombia continues to face emergency situations. Collapse of the dam is one of the likely possibilities. It's a very large embankment dam being built on the Cauca River near Ituango Town in Antioquia Province in Colombia. Blockage of the tunnel started to cause the water level in the dam to rise, and evacuations were initiated. Residents of Ituango Town have been cut off after only bridge connection to them and the rest of the country was submerged by rising waters. Machuchu 2 Dam Collapse the Machuchu 2 Dam was situated on the Machu River. It was located near the small town of Morbi in the Rajkot district of Gujarat, India. In August 1979, due to the excessive rain and massive flooding, the walls of the dam started to weaken and then collapsed. Within 20 minutes of the flood, 10-meter-high waves swept forth inundating the low-lying areas of Morbi Industrial Town, located 5 kilometers below the dam. Estimates of the number of people killed vary greatly, ranging from 1,800 to 25,000. Oroville Dam in February of 2017, Oroville Dam's main and emergency spillways were damaged. This prompted the evacuation of more than 180,000 people living downstream along the Feather River and the relocation of a fish hatchery. The incident was caused by a long-term systematic failure to recognize and address inherent spillway design and construction weaknesses. Poor foundation bedrock quality and deteriorating spillway chute conditions also led to the failure. The 770-foot-high and 6,920-foot-long dam has a volume of 78 million cubic liters and forms a reservoir of some 3.5 million acre capacity. Hoover Dam 
One of the biggest dams in the world was completed in 1936. It spurred the agricultural and industrial development of the southwest United States. The disruption in water movement also annihilated Colorado River's rich fisheries beyond the dam. Over the years, climate change has greatly affected the dam's capacity to supply water and generate power. This leaves the Hoover Dam a white elephant on the path of fish farming. Caribe Dam the Kariba Dam on the Zambezi was built in the 1950s to power Zambia's copper belt. It was the first large dam funded by the World Bank. Kariba was considered the symbol of a brave new world in which controlling nature would bring quick economic development. However, some 57,000 people who were displaced by the dam suffered famine and are still impoverished. Kariba Dam is the world's largest man-made reservoir by capacity. The interesting fact is, it is aging, raising grave concerns such as the possibility of chemical reactions. Sardar Sarovar This massive dam failure on India's Narmada River displaced more than 250,000 mainly indigenous people. The World Bank had to withdraw from the project in 1994 after an independent review found systematic violations of its social and environmental policies. After this humiliating experience, the bank stayed out of the mega dams for more than a decade. It took 56 years to complete this construction. Four Indian states, namely Gujarta, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, and Rajasthan, received water and electricity from the dam. Bakra, the Temple of Modern India In the 1960s, the Bakra Dam became a symbol of India's Green Revolution and was hailed by then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru as a Temple of Modern India. Yet in India and beyond, badly managed irrigation schemes have resulted in waterlogged saline soils and diminishing harvests. Nehru soon became to deplore the disease of gigantism in dam building. The sudden surge in water levels in the Bakra Dam was last seen in the devastating floods of 1988, where an unknown number of deaths occurred and some 34,000 people were displaced. B.N. Kumar, the chairman of Bakra Bees Management Board, was shot dead as a revenge of Bees Bakra Management Board's role in the floods. Auburn Upstream Coffer Dam Failure but first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then, let's go. In early February 1986, 10 inches of rain fell on the Sacramento region in 11 days. This melted the Sierra Nevada snowpack and caused a massive flood to pour down on the American River. The flood rapidly filled the pool excess behind the Auburn Coffer Dam to capacity, as the diversion tunnel could not handle all the excess water. At about 6 a.m. on February 18th, the rising water overtopped the Coffer Dam near the right support structure, creating a waterfall that quickly eroded part of the structure. The dam was destroyed, but Sacramento residents escaped with their lives when flooding was averted by a combination of levees on the Folsom Lake. Which dam failure did you find most disturbing? Have you ever witnessed anything like it? Let us know in the comments section below. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.